Hello and welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. With the recent bankruptcy of San Bernardino and Mammoth Lakes, to name a few, when you ask the mayor of a city, how you doing? You really mean it. How is the city faring? Here now is the mayor of Redlands, Pete Aguilar. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me, Leslie. How you doing? Now, how's the city doing? <laughs> We're doing well. We're doing well. I think what we, what the city of Redlands did um, uh, in 2007, 2008, we created a financial management plan. We started to address the financial issues that we saw coming in the future, and we honestly made tough decisions then that really put us in a good financial position now. So I'm happy to say that the city has a six million dollar dedicated reserve. We have another six million dollars in an ending fund balance total the two sources and it's twelve million dollars in, in cash that isn't allocated to day-to-day -day expenses we have a credit rating that was improved while other cities credit rating was being reduced um, so I think we're on good financial footing uh, some uh, one of the elements that has led to bad financial fitting for some cities is a uh, the pensions the pension liability that they are enduring uh, what is Redlands doing to uh, mitigate that we actually just announced a, a comprehensive deal, a labor negotiation deal uh, with our firefighters and we feel that that's going to uh, set the precedent for other negotiations that we have at the city. Um, but the city council put three tenants uh, is our focus and that is that the employees need to pay their share of their retirement. Uh, new hires need to come in at a reduced formula where they pay an increased share uh, as well. And uh, the third piece is that we need to contain overtime, um, overtime costs for the city. So uh, those pieces are incredibly important and the deal that we struck with the firefighters uh, does, uh, does seek that balance. Uh, it's a negotiation, so we never get everything that we want, but I think it's a fair, a fair deal for taxpayers and this deal will result in about a million dollars in savings annually uh, just from these two bargaining units. What about the pension obligations though for the current employees because you can't really do much about the current employee pension obligations aside from have them contribute a little more yeah, state laws, state law, and and the court system has has really um, uh, governs what we can do with current employees. We can't change the formula that current employees retire in, but what we can do is we can ask them to pay their share of their retirement, and we can ask them to shoulder an increased uh, burden of those health care increases. So those conversations we're having with current employees, and we found in Redlands that they've been receptive to that. They understand the situation. We're and in. at this point, you don't think it's going to be uh, an unusual burden in the future? No, we don't. We don't. We feel it's manageable. Um, you know, obviously, we need to make sure that PERS, uh, our retirement system in California that all of us use, uh, that PERS is managed co correctly and uh, that they don't make investments in, in bad properties and things that they've done in the past. So we need to be mindful of that, but we think that, the, that we, can, can, we can help control the system. Okay, so there's going to be some major changes on the streets and roads in Redlands. And in, instead of buy now, pay later, it's kind of going to be pay now, buy later, because, oh, when you're stuck in traffic and the improvements are being made, but then in the future, so great. It is, it is, and one of the things that we hear quite a bit is is the condition of our streets and roads, and I'd rather hear that than, than I suppose the financial issues, um, uh, but uh, Redlands is on good on good uh, financial footing, but our infrastructure has been crumbling over what the years. What are we going to get out of it, out we're, of the road? We're going to get three quarters of our streets and roads in Redlands repaved and redone in the next three to four years. Mm -hmm. uh, right now we have some of the lowest uh, graded uh, streets and roads. We're going to improve three quarters of them, put 47 million dollars, uh, create a couple hundred jobs as associated with the program all for just a couple dollars uh, for residents. Where's the money coming from? Uh, it's a solid waste increase so we're asking folks the solid waste trucks are actually one of the causes of our streets and roads that are crumbling so what we're doing is we're asking uh, ratepayers to help shoulder that burden and, and pay their fair share uh, it works out to about two dollars a month that residents are going to be asked to pay. Solid waste. So you're making roads out of waste like lemons out of lemonade. Absolutely lemonade. we have to be creative. Uh, local government officials have to be creative nowadays so you know what we're putting a good plan to work and this is something that's going to improve our streets and roads, which is important. All right. Mayor Aguilar, thank you for being here. And thank you for joining us. I'm Leslie Layton.